Hi everybody, this is my dog Teddy. Believe it or not, he has a pre-existing condition called hemophilia, which prevents his blood from clotting. Now, because he's a dog, it's next to impossible for him to catch COVID-19. But for the 2.4 million Wisconsinites who do have pre-existing conditions, they're a far more vulnerable part of the population. Now, knowing this, you'd think Trump and his administration would take some extra steps to help these folks and look out for them, but sadly, you'd be wrong. You see, since Trump's taken office, he's done everything he can to repeal the ACA and strip protections for people with pre-existing conditions. You'd hope that in the midst of a global pandemic that's killed over 70,000 Americans, that he'd have some decency, but even he can't muster that. So he is still directing his Department of Justice to argue in front of the Supreme Court that the law should be invalidated, that people with pre-existing conditions should basically be treated less than, that insurance companies should be allowed to charge them more or kick them off their insurance or deny them altogether simply for something that's out of their control. And that's not what we need right now. We need compassionate leadership. We need leaders who are going to fight for us, who are going to fight for Wisconsinites. And thankfully, we have friends who are now filing in front of the Supreme Court arguments that do the opposite of what Trump believes. They believe that even if you do have a pre-existing condition, you're still a human being. You shouldn't be discriminated against. That's what we need in our next president, too. And we know, point blank, that Trump isn't that person and that four more years of him is gonna leave people in a far more vulnerable position than they already are.